Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is May 24th, 2022. It's 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States, in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm doing pretty good. Anxiety levels are pretty low. Paranoia levels are pretty low today. Although it's kind of hard to tell because I didn't go out at all today. Um, but I don't feel particularly paranoid. My auditory hallucinations are at a minimum. My depression is not too bad. My anxiety levels are not too high. Um, tomorrow I see my therapist for the first time since before surgery. Um, I just had my surgery, surgery Friday before last on my right knee. They removed part of my meniscus. Some loose cartilage and some scar tissue. My knee still hurts to some degree, especially when I have to walk long distances on it. Um, since I will be taking the bus to see my therapist tomorrow, I'll be doing a fair share of walking as well. It'll put some strain on my knee. I am doing physical therapy every day to strengthen my knee. Um, and I will be seeing my physical therapist day after tomorrow on the 26th. Um, the goal, of course, is to be able to take my right knee to keep pay at a very bare minimum. Um, I was told by my surgeon that nothing was actually repaired. They just removed part of the damage and this was trimmed it off and removed some loose cartilage and scar tissue. Um, my psychiatric symptoms aren't too bad today. Um, I'm functioning. Um, haven't been to the psychiatric emergency room in a while. Just wondering what the white stuff on my lips is. It's nicotine lozenges. I haven't had a cigarette in about four months. I'm still heavily really addicted to nicotine, so in a way you could say my addiction is still very much present. It's just a lot of smoking cigarettes. Um, so uh, I feel like I had a little bit too much coffee today. Pirates to racing kind of fast. There's coffee with caffeine, which is never good for anxiety. Um, I guess I drink coffee more out of boredom than anything else. Um, and my coffee drinking reinforces my nicotine addiction. Um, I still have the need to have something in my mouth. If it's not a cigarette, then it's going to be something else. I've tried nicotine gum, I've tried nicotine patch. Nicotine allows me to seem to work the best. Um, to keep me from smoking cigarettes. I have been tempted to buy cigarettes over the past four months, but I haven't done it. I would like to continue to go without cigarettes. Nicotine is technically poison, but it's safer in lozenge form than it is in cigarette form. I was given a CT scan, routine CT scan of my lungs to check for lung cancer. They found nothing, so I don't have lung cancer. As far as I know, I don't have emphysema. It's not officially. Um, there has been some damage to my lung from smoking. That's what uh, scared me into quitting, was looking at x-rays and CT scans in my lungs. They were partly damaged. Um, part of my lungs are not working. But I don't have lung cuisine and I don't have lung cancer. So hopefully I quit smoking in time. I'm 56 years old smoked on and off for more than 30 years. Um, another time I had quit for five years. Hopefully this will be more permanent than five years. I don't want to go back to smoking cigarettes. I'm scared of not being able to breathe, of developing emphysema, carrying oxygen tanks around with me everywhere I go. I'm actually more scared of emphysema than I am of lung cancer. Um, so, I still have the addictions of caffeine and nicotine. Um, I was given a narcotics painkiller after surgery. They gave me about two or three days supply, and that ran out pretty quickly. So I basically used some Tylenol to leave control pain and inflammation in my body and my right knee. Um, 
Because all the reports come out.